Today I fucked up by reading the Lord of the Rings aloud during a company-wide Zoom call. I was unmuted. My employer holds an all-hands meeting once a month. It's mostly overview material, metrics, performance, shoutouts, things like that. There's also close to 200 people on these calls and, like me, most just listen in while the execs talk news and numbers. Today, instead of listening in, I decided to read. I've recently begun The Lord of the Rings, something I've been meaning to read for years, and have also begun reading aloud to both work on my enunciation slash speed of speaking and, since I've been isolated during this pandemic, selfishly need to hear my own voice. So, once the meeting began, I sat down to read. I muted my computer speakers but not my mic and and, well, everyone heard. The worst part is that it was a Tom Bombadil section and he was singing nonsensical rhymes and songs. I've sweat through my shirt, and every email I've gotten in the past hour, I'm like, this is it. This is how I lose my job in a pandemic, by reading The Lord of the Rings. I'm so embarrassed. Please laugh at me, then tell me it's not a big deal. Too long didn't read, I read The Lord of the Rings aloud during a company-wide Zoom call and I'm really fucking embarrassed. Who the hell hosts a company-wide meeting and doesn't mute all mics before starting? Yeah with 200 odd attendees I would imagine there'd be all kinds of background noise from people who forgot to turn their mics off. This is hilarious. You poor soul. I mostly browse reddit during my meetings these days, looking at cute animal pictures. It's been a challenge to school my expression into neutral so that no one catches on that I'm looking at cats while I should be paying attention. It's okay we've all done it. Alright, none of us have done it, this is hilarious. I don't think providing a free audiobook service is a sackable offense so you'll be fine. Reading isn't really an offense but ignoring the meeting might be frowned upon. Not likely fireable, but not a good look. It'll blow over don't worry. Also because you said you're working on such things. It is enunciate not enunciate. I don't know where you work, but in my office, that would be gold for years. There and back again, trips to the unemployment office. An expected journey. Today I fucked up by quitting weed. I had been in the depths of addiction to weed and alcohol for a while, and decided to quit a few weeks ago. Things have been going well so far. One of the things I enjoyed while stoned was eating Indian food, made as spicy as possible. The combination of the weed and the consumption methods, dry vaping, meant that I could eat dishes that would have left me in agony before. Then, a few days ago, I decided to give one of my favorite dishes a try again, one of the few that could cut through the weed and give me a rush. Placed the order with the usual challenge, make it so spicy you're worried about my safety, and chowed down. I figured that I would at least have built up some sort of tolerance. Folks, it turns out taste buds heal. Between the lack of weed and the time since I had last had the spicy food, I was pacing and shaking after just a few bites. My dumbass persisted, with snot streaming down my face and tears pouring from my eyes. If you have a cold, this is a great way to fix a stuffed nose, I would market it as the Sinus Blaster 5000 copyright. All in all, I only managed a third of it, and I couldn't feel my face for 20 minutes after. Too long didn't read, tried to relive me glory days, got my skull obliterated by peppers. Edit, too many dishes in one sentence there. Edit 2, turns out the alcohol probably had a lot to do with the spice tolerance as a few pointed out. Don't crossfade, it's super bad for you and dangerous too. If the decision is sobriety versus extremely spiced Indian food, choose sobriety plus less spices. Seems easy to me. Oh hell yeah sobriety is actually great. I just flew to close to the sun eh? I can't drink anything more than a couple beers and I feel like death. But I was up to 2 ounces. A month in weed and I had to quit for a while, both for money and my sanity. Suddenly I get tired at a reasonable hour and wake up feeling decent in the mornings again. I eat more than one meal a day and I feel 1000% less antisocial. The only drawback is I'm bored all the time now. Video games just aren't terribly appealing, and all my hobbies feel very stale. So my weeks are much more pleasant now, but my weekends kinda suck, lol. 
Congratulations, quitting ain't easy. I'm going to a detox this week to get help. Don't be afraid to seek professional help as well. I went through a medical detox at a hospital. It's tough. And one of the biggest things that I changed was my environment, that shit will suck you back in if you hang around the same shit slash people you did when you were drinking. Best of luck. Come join slash r slash hot peppers we need more crazy people like you. Ha ha, I'm a bit gun shy but I might end up starting from the medium high spicy again and work my way up. The worst fuck up is Montezuma's revenge on the toilet the next morning. That's a wet wipe and immediate shower post grumper situation. Don't forget the lingering heat coming from your anus. Today I fucked up by defending Ted Cruz. So today I, for a lengthy period of time argues with a friend of mine about Ted Cruz, and how wholesome he was. I was adamant that no person could have a legitimate reason to hate that much on the man. I even argued that he's loved by many despite having some controversial Twitter posts. And just because my friend was threatened by his masculinity, there was no reason to hate the man. I even went as far as to argue that he's one of my favorite modern time actors. This is when my friend said, Ted Cruz, not Terry fucking Cruz. And as I realized I fucked up, red faced, and flustered pumped up on adrenaline, all I could do was say I am the walrus, to my friend's response of, shut the fuck up Donnie, you're out of your league. TLDR, Ted Cruz is not Terry Cruz. Who knew? Now I'm just imagining Ted Cruz creepily staring at me saying did you eat my yogurt? Teddy Lou loves his yogurt. Wholesome Terry Cruz is always worth defending, you did nothing wrong. I hope this is real because I just had a loud laugh imagining you having a two hour argument where you're like I fucking ride for Ted Cruz. By the end, everyone is tired and pissed. Then you realize you have been defending the wrong person. That tickles me. Yes, yes it was. Let's just say I felt pretty dumb in the end. But at least we both had a good laugh afterwards. Tom Cruise is also not Ted Cruise or Terry Cruise. Who woulda thunk? But what about Penelope Cruise? Neutral face. What's wrong with Ted Cruz? He was great in the Mission Impossible flicks. 